Hi all, welcome to this course on production planning and control. We'll be continuing with the problem on simple moving average. The last two problems we have already learned is the simple moving average method and how to find it out. So here in brief, we will simply have an example. How? Like for the example, for the data shown below, determine the forecast of three months moving down. So for the entire data which is present for a year, we will find out what is the demand for three months in a moving average method. Like in the first three months, we are having the value to be 95 plus 100 plus 87, which is giving us 95 plus 100 plus 87 divided by 3, which is equal to 94. Based upon that value, we are having the moving average for the first three months to be 94. Next three months would be 100 plus 87 plus 123, which is giving us divided by 3, which is giving us 103.3. Same manner, next three months we are having 87 plus 123 plus 90 divided by 3, which is 103.33. Next, 123 plus 90 plus 96 divided by 3, which is giving us 100. And in the same fashion, we are having the other moving averages for the respective three months to be 103, 87, 83, 86.33, which is 87, 96, 99.67, which is 100, and 92. So based upon these values, we are having this forecast for the entire year upon three months of average. This is how a problem is solved in the simple moving average method. So, what is the forecast now? For the first three months or for the upcoming fourth month, the forecast is 94. In the same manner, for the next month, it will be 103. Upcoming month, it will be 100. In the same manner, it will flow up till 92. So, 94, 103.33. 100, 103, 87, 83, 86, 96, and 100. 99.67 or 100 also is the value. Hence, the forecast for the entire month based upon the three months moving average will be summation of all this divided by the number of quantities, which is coming to be 92. So, this is how a moving average is generally being found. Thank you.